son, come here. Yeah, yes. dad. Yes, little Sergio. <laughs> My sketchbooks. Your son calls you little Sergio. Yeah. <laughs> yes, little Sergio. <laughs> Well, welcome to the Minnesota of Waiting to Dry. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Joshua Lawyer, and little Sergio Lopez here. <laughs> He's so cool. <laughs> He's so cool. <laughs> um, if you guys listen to the end of the last episode, you'll know that we had a plan. <laughs> yeah. We accomplished that plan. <laughs> Uh, but we, you know, try to keep the sauce hot. <laughs> yeah, time. exactly. We tried to keep the sauce hot. We, <laughs> we forgot to hit record. Uh, God damn it. So, um. Only twice in recorded history that we did that. So we're yeah. pretty good. We're good podcast. I will say this though, that you guys didn't miss anything this time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Other than the fact that this YouTube uh, video, which if you want to look up, it's called, what is it called? Uh, Mayflower by artist Sergio Lopez. Mayflower by, uh, yeah, whatever he just said. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, and the best part of it is he, the the lady she calls Sergio. Um, there he is, little Sergio Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> he is cool. <laughs> <laughs> little Sergio Lopez, it's the best part. Is that she not only once, but she calls you it uh, multiple times because when she opens up, she calls you that, and then it shows a picture of you again, and she's like, "That's when she says that, right?" And the yeah. second when she's like, <laughs> "Little Sergio Lopez, <laughs> bruv, <laughs> bruv, yeah, in it, in it, yeah." <laughs> uh, He's so cool, in it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so if you ever see Sergio. Definitely call him Little Sergio Lopez. <laughs> call me Little Sergio Lopez. Little. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> then so, I know. How to, yeah, you know, <laughs> make uh, it proper. But other than that, uh, the video's uh, hard to watch. Oh, for sure, it's not worth watching otherwise. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> other than hearing, other than just taking that sound bite for yourself right yeah and replaying it over and over and laughing <laughs> yeah. it gets funnier the more you hear it. play that one more time sir jim and there he is little sergio lopez <laughs> he <needs> cool <laughs> <laughs> the little giggle the little giggle is so good <laughs> and it's it's a uh, uh, so she's when she brings that up she's talking about a picture of you yeah standing in front of an easel like right. like uh I don't know how to explain your posture. It looks very like uh, a sword fighter. Sword thing. fighter, yeah, perfect. <laughs> yeah, I kept thinking like gunslinger. Was, no, it's like not gunslinger. quiet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. Sword fighter, um, and you definitely are little in the picture. <laughs> I guess I don't know. Just the picture is little. I don't know if I'm little in it. No, you're little. Like you're like half the size of a normal human being in that picture. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, like you're reaching up to the easel, you're that tiny, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, so go check that out. Go give it it, go give it 46 views, <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Become uh, a subscriber, why not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make sure to hit that bell so you get all the notifications. So the when, sad thing is that that YouTube video probably has more views than some of our YouTube videos. <laughs> how dare you! <laughs> Well, we don't have video on our podcast. That's true. Our, we only have like a our couple. YouTube is like, every time I look at our YouTube numbers, I'm like, that is horrible, but I get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, we're not really growing it too much. On YouTube, how are you going to grow it when it's a video content platform? Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, <laughs> So we're not really doing anything no. video wise to to make it anything so yeah we should just what we should do is just loop kittens playing while we play our <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> uh, i see people actually do that when they like repost like what do you call it uh like radio shows on sirius oh really or, yeah onto well, youtube they I just had, have something playing in the background i had the idea first you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah uh so let's let's do a normal mini set i suppose <laughs> yeah sure so first things first is a topic and I have not thought about this, whatever topic you're bringing. What do we got? Let's see. I got a few of them, but how about you think it's a learned skill to take criticism? 
Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I agree, but yeah, it's it's weird. Like I, I can think of, that is actually probably one of the biggest things I got from art school mm-hmm. were the critiques and like learning how to not take them personally. Cause that was in, ingrained into you really quickly. The only time it should be personal if, it, if the person has obviously got something against you. Right. And they're just saying shit just because they don't like you. Mm-hmm. But I think that's, that's the question you should ask yourself is like, like if I just tell someone that I think that their art needs work, I have nothing. I have no opinion about the person. I, like I know on that recording we did at your studio, mm-hmm. it was like a, one of our listeners asked a question. Yeah, and I was. Uh, I don't even know how far I got in on the critique. I never listened back to it. Right. Yeah. Uh, but I wasn't gonna hold any punches back. Right. Yeah. Uh, same. But it, it has nothing to do with like I don't hate this person or feel right. negative. You right. know what I mean? I mean, yeah, it's very impersonal when I look yeah. at somebody when I critique their art. And I don't even want to hurt anyone's feelings. Mm-hmm. It's just an objective, like, this is how I think about the work. Right. Yeah. Like, for example, our last episode when we were talking about Mia Bergeron's painting, like, she's a friend of mine. Like, I've showed in a two-person show with her. Uh-huh. And, uh, but still at the same time, when we looked at the painting, there's like, oh, there's stuff in here that could be improved on it. Even yeah. though it's a painting I like, so sure, and she probably knows the same. I mean, mm-hmm. she probably fe- uh, if I think there's something off about a piece, most likely the artist probably has a similar probably thought. probably maybe not. Maybe they yeah. got some blind spots, but yeah, it's like possible. Usually, the artist is their hard- harshest critic. So th- something that's probably bugging us is probably bugging them twice as hard or something right maybe not though i mean i know that doesn't apply to everyone but Mm -hmm. yeah like if i get a critique and it's something like genuinely like oh i didn't see that Mm -hmm. i like like i'm super grateful for that it's never a thing like oh well what do they know or whatever that sort of thing like even if it comes from somebody who's art like i'm like not the (laughs) like if i look at their art i don't judge like their ability to see the art unless it's like unless i don't agree with the critique Mm -hmm. then it's something different. But uh, most of the time, uh, if somebody has enough skill to to find flaws in the work, then it's usually from for a reason. Like there's something that they picked up on. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I I don't know. All that shit helps you grow anyways. Right. Like if, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I've just noticed that some people just aren't as good at taking critiques. Sure. When I was young, I was horrible at it. Mm Mm-hmm. I mean, I didn't really get too many critiques, but I know, I, remember, I think I might have said this before, but I remember one time I had this show at Destructure on Hate Street. We've mm. talked about it before, mm-hmm. that location. Oh, it's, right. It's yeah, yeah. Closed, mm-hmm. but, uh, <clears throat> but I remember I went into the bar next door to take a piss because the line was always really long to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, because they only had one bathroom and girls, am I right? <laughs> right. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> what was that? Tim Allen. Oh. <laughs> For while we prove it. Um, <laughs> so I went next door, and uh, and then the guy like peeing next to me. I was like, "Oh, did you go to the art show next door?" And he was like, "Yeah." And I mm-hmm. knew it was mine. I was like, "What did you think?" He was like, "Uh, the artwork was not that good." And I was <laughs> Damn. like, "How dare you? Like, you don't know shit about art in my head." Oh yeah. And I was just like, "What the fuck do you know?" <laughs> right, right, right. And I was like so upset about <laughs> yeah. it, and I was so like fuck that guy and then yeah. i look back at that art and I'm like oh it's not that good <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah it's it's uh, i mean it's not even like i mean i think when you get to a certain level of like technical ability like critiquing it for that is kind of not that interesting mm-hmm. i think M- uh, maybe like the composition and like why people put things in a certain way Mm. might be more interesting Mm. uh, or why they decided to do this over that. Right. Those kind of things. Mm -hmm. Uh, But that's when you get to like a certain like skill level. Right. Where you can just kind of forget about certain techniques and just worry about why they did things the way they did. Mm -hmm. And and that and and sometimes that leads nowhere either. That's just like I don't know. I thought it looked cool, <laughs> right? Yeah, know. yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that's perfectly fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, but I think it's uh, a lot of times nowadays when I ask someone about 
their work. It's more like to get more insight of why they're doing what they're doing. Right. Yeah. Uh, but I think when you're in your like early developing stages, you mm -hmm. know, there's a yeah. lot of like, there's a lot of like, how did you do that kind of stuff? Yeah. yeah. From like year to year, you're probably going to see the large jumps in improvement when you're like, you know, working on becoming a better artist. Mm -hmm. So just understand that like where you are now, your best shit where you're like super hyped on. Cause when you're growing as an artist, you really get hyped on like, holy shit, this is awesome. You know, cause like 90% of your shit is really bad. <laughs> yeah. So you might like knock out one like decent thing. You're like, wow, I'm fucking good. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then you look at it like a year from then you're like, oh, that thing sucks. Oh yeah. That's yeah. now the standard. <laughs> and now the one good piece, I'm like, well, that's fucking cool. And then, you know, and that just keeps happening. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and, that's one the, of the great things about keeping a sketchbook. You yeah, see that right in front of you for sure. But the the gap the gap shorten every you know. Yeah. Because there's less improvement to be had. Exactly. The yeah. years, but those like initial years when you're really kind of get gaining <laughs> momentum on mm -hmm. your skills, I think you you don't realize how bad you are in that moment because you're just growing so much mm -hmm. so like you look at last year and you're like wow that guy fucking sucked i'm good then mm -hmm. but then you grow again and you're like oh that guy sucked i'm good again right and like uh, until the a certain point and then you're like all right now technically i'm good let's mm -hmm. figure out some other shit yep exactly uh what the fuck was the question again oh it wasn't even a question it was just more of a topic to bring up just like if it's a learned skill like oh, like everybody yeah. could really I hopefully learn to take criticism if they yeah. find it uh, important for them, which they should. But. Yeah. <laughs> my, my, my main thing would be to, uh, you don't necessarily have to respect all cri criticisms. Mm -hmm. I would say find people that you respect and then mm -hmm. uh, respect their criticisms. Right. Yeah. I guess that's part of learning to take criticism, learning like which criticism is valid. Yeah. Yeah. Cause a lot of people don't know what good art is anyway. So don't, don't fuck with their opinion. Fuck right, them. They yeah. go suck a dick. Yeah. Unless that's what they're into. And they go look a vagina, those perverts. <laughs> go grab a dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know what I mean? Like, like the, 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 not every opinion is valid. So yeah. don't. Yeah. Learn to filter out. Yeah. Which, <laughs> yeah. Learn that skill too. That's important. <laughs> yeah. Remember the opinions of Wayne and Dry. They're always valid. Hell Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you better know that. <laughs> uh, all right, well, we, did we nail that topic? That was a quick one. Yeah, I mean, well, fuck it. There's a there was a these are mini sodes, <laughs> right? Yeah, <laughs> keeping it mini this time. All right, we got a question. Uh, yeah, I don't remember how long ago this one was, so I don't know who who gave it to us anymore. Let's get it. But uh, what artist from history would you bring back today to depict the modern world? To depict the modern world. Mm -hmm. hmm. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it would be. I mean, maybe like a Renaissance guy just because it's so <laughs> far back. Right. <laughs> you know, like Rembrandt. Like, like he might be cool because it's like. Right. Well, just because I would want to watch him paint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I would pick Rembrandt. Yeah. How about that? Yeah, I would lean. Uh, yeah, I'd do. Either Rembrandt or maybe Sargent, but probably lean toward Rembrandt as I think, well. I think Sargent has a very, like, like his presence is in modern day painting. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, like, a lot of people who paint nowadays, that that's their guy they look up to. Right. So, like, the brush strokiness kind of still is around. So, I don't know how mm -hmm. much he would add um for me it's more like a curiosity as to like okay well how much better is he than everybody else he's mm. painting right now sure it's like is it is it that noticeable a difference or mm. is it like okay like people are starting to catch up to skill level yeah it's hard to say but that's yeah a, that's a weird reason why sir joe wow. <laughs> <laughs> like, because i want to know how dope i am <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> well, not me. I know how dope I'm not compared to him, but yeah. But you know what I mean? It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, how dope is that guy look up yeah. to compared to... <laughs> yeah, how close are we? Yeah. Uh, I just think it would be fun to see like a person who's 
kind of footprint isn't necessarily that oh like obvious in I today's see. painting for sure like, i mean everyone's bit probably rembrandt has his influences in art mm -hmm. but no one's gonna no one's painting like him today right yeah um, you know what I mean? Uh, but maybe they are just well. Yeah, I mean, not wearing top hats and shit. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Uh, well, people are trying to paint in that sort of like yeah, but Rembrandt it doesn't lighting way. But it's not like painting like Rembrandt. But right? it would be interesting to see how he would do it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because right. it's like uh, like what? How much of his work would change because of like modern lighting or something? Because I'm example. assuming he would just paint what was around him. So if this was around mm, him, I guess so. He did paint like like uh biblical scenes too and right. stuff though. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Um but that's yeah, that's a yeah, that's for sure one of uh one of the ones that I would choose or, for that. Or Pollock. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? See how he would splash paint differently. <laughs> yeah. That would be cool. <laughs> like, oh it's the same. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> right. That's your one move. Oh, <laughs> what oh you used to do abstract different than this back. Okay. <laughs> but that's what people think is the reason why you're good. Okay. Cool, cool. I think I, I think his spirit lives on in all those liquefied art. <laughs> all those <laughs> swirly. Yeah, swirly shit. <laughs> like you yeah. call it. <laughs> swirly shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Shout out. Jackson Pollock lives on. <laughs> uh, yeah. I would like to see how he does with, like, different lighting and different, you know what I mean? Mm. Different, um, like, like we have late interior pain and exterior pain and, <laughs> yeah you know <laughs> would he like uh the new um liquitex acrylic wash for example <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah it's super important to know what he thinks about that kind of stuff exactly yeah um <laughs> god <laughs> i hate pollock <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like this show makes me hate him more. Do you know what I mean? Like I already hated him, but the fact that he comes up because I hate him more because of I'm forced to talk about art. Right. And yeah. It's just fun to. And now people just kind of uh, needle you about him too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's uh, like if we didn't do the podcast, you wouldn't think about Pollock at all, barely. At all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, unless someone was talking about him, like, oh fuck. That guy. <laughs> yeah. But now it's like I have to think about him all the time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, He's even worse than I remembered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you would avoid those um, uh, those art shows where he would even come up. <laughs> I got a question for you real quick. Okay. Uh, I've been watching a show. It's like British repair show or something. Like that. <laughs> okay. Just up my alley of shit I like to watch. <laughs> sure. I mean, real craftsmen working on random shit. So a lot of the show is like people who have like heirlooms. Mm. heirlooms mm -hmm. how come that sounds wrong i don't know that's right i'm thinking of tomatoes i'm like is that the same word yeah it is <laughs> <laughs> i've never made that connection till now uh heirlooms <laughs> that they want to pass on but like a lot of them of like it's like pottery that have been cracked or something like that you know mm -hmm. and uh it made me think i even asked mj it was like is there a is there something that you own, like your one prized possession that you would think about as like the one thing you would want to pass on if you died or something like that? Oh, that's a good question. Um, God, I don't know. I'd be having good questions. I don't <laughs> My soundboard. No. Um, your soundboard? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this shit takes effort to get all these buttons programmed. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, my art would be the obvious answer, but mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't think anything I do is like that great. That like I, you must pri cherish this and prize this for all eternity. Right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I know. Um, well, we well, like even art I've collected. I don't know how much I could like expect somebody else to be connected to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. We well, we we said the spoon we own. Oh really? Hours. But mm. now that I think about it, I think my sketchbooks. I changed my mind. My sketchbooks. Oh really? Huh. Would be the one thing I would want to maybe get passed on. Interesting. Or like I would care about where they went. You know, like who would I get see. them after I died. Mm. Um, I don't know. Do I care about my sketchbooks enough? <laughs> like that? 
probably i don't know i, I could go either way with that yeah so uh, that's a no then <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh god i don't know i don't think i have anything that would you're like that's like you're like on your deathbed and you're like <laughs> Like, come here. Are you like either your kid or someone yeah. comes in, you hand them half a burrito. Yeah. You're like, eat this. This is my body. Right. Either that or do like, this in remembrance of me. Yeah. He's like, he's like, no, little Sergio. <laughs> they still call me little Sergio. <laughs> Son, come here. Yeah, yes. dad. Yes, little Sergio. <laughs> My sketchbooks. Your son calls you little. Sergio. Yeah. <laughs> yes, little Sergio. <laughs> My sketchbooks. Yeah. I could go either way. Them. <laughs> Do what you want with them, really. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, if you want them, keep them. But not, <laughs> yeah. uh, Give them to like a, I don't know a museum. If you can find what they want. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm like even wishy washy on my deathbed. <laughs> uh. Well. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's uh, that's the only question I had. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, we, we have the hate on someone quarter. Uh, let's see. Uh, does it have to be art related? No. Okay. Well, why not? <laughs> fuck. Uh, covered California for what's that? Overdrawing my bank account oh, today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, your insurance fucked you. Recently. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For I don't know some paperwork that I might have missed made me uh. Yeah, put me two hundred dollars in the red today, so that sucks. <laughs> that fucking sucks. <laughs> because yeah, uh, you, uh, I don't know if it works everywhere this way, but in California, if you make under a certain amount, you can um, have your health insurance subsidized so that you only pay a dollar for it. And for some reason, uh, the payment went through, and it was like four hundred dollars. So mm -hmm. yeah, that is awesome. Yeah, fuck them. <laughs> fuck that. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> it's hard out here being a painter. <laughs> uh, you got anything? I don't know. I hate... Uh, how about fuck present givers? <laughs> okay. Towards me only. <laughs> oh, yeah. all right. Yeah. <laughs> Why, you got some shit you didn't want? Because I some hate, coal in your stocking? <laughs> I hate opening presents. Oh, in front of people? Yeah. And I'm, being like, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm a horrible gift receiver. Because <laughs> like I was saying in the previous episode that I hate not being myself. <laughs> okay. When someone gives me shit I don't want, I am horrible at being like, oh, thank you. Because all I'm thinking is... I don't want this garbage. <laughs> you, why did you give it to me? I could have bought it myself sure. if I wanted it. Sure, sure. Um, yeah, I hate. Okay. Here's the thing: if you want to be a good gift, like the, I think the only reason you should give a gift is because it's either something that you know that person really wants, but would never mm -hmm. spend the money on it. Okay, because it's something like a fucking. I don't know, like something sil a little on the sillier end, you know, like, mm -hmm. like oh, I really would want a fucking, I don't know, a drone or some shit, but I would never spend the money on it. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that's a gift you should give someone because mm -hmm. they're never going to buy it mm -hmm. or something that's sentimental to you both mm -hmm. based on experiences you guys both been through. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I don't need, me personally, I don't need anything that i can just buy off of amazon <laughs> okay it's like i'll just buy it <laughs> uh, and not only that it's like all we're doing is passing 50 dollars to the left you know what i mean mm. it's like you buy me a gift for 50 dollars. i'll buy you a gift for 50 dollars. so here's 50 dollars. <laughs> yeah it's like i don't know it seems empty to me it's like i see i don't know but I might be talking like MJ. She needs socks. Her parents gave her socks. She's stoked. <laughs> yeah, she's actually stoked about it. I could never be happy about socks because guess what? I'm an adult. I buy my own socks. <laughs> MJ, I just realized recently hasn't bought socks because her parents buy them every single Christmas. Oh, really? They they just <laughs> that's their year supply of socks. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> they, they gave her like eight eight like little bundles of socks. Mm. 
And right before Christmas, she was like, where the fuck are all my socks? And I was like, when did you buy socks last? And I realized that she just doesn't buy socks. (laughs) I see. (laughs) So for her, now I'm realizing how come she's so happy when she gets socks as a gift. (laughs) Because she needs them. Because she actually needs that shit. (laughs) Because there's a hole in the ones that she bought. (laughs) Yeah. She got last year. Yeah. Yeah, You know, they're missing. She's missing some. Uh, cause girl socks are dumb. <laughs> you ever seen girl sock drawers? Uh, I can't say I have. Let me just tell you something. There are very few similar socks in that box. Oh, that's true. Yeah. You know what I mean? They have like one pair that has like little puppy dogs on it and <laughs> right. one pair that has strawberries on it. And <laughs> <Yeah>. It's like, <laughs> so if you lose one sock... Then that fucking pair of socks is done for. Oh, uh, well, I guess she's not artsy enough, so she doesn't like to mismatch their socks, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't. I mean, I don't like it. <laughs> You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. <laughs> It's going to come out two weeks after Christmas. People are going to be so Christmas shit. Mean, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, <laughs> well, hey man, we gotta stack our content here. So. <laughs> yeah, we're going out of town. Yeah. Um. All right. All right. Well, we did it. We did it. Yeah, almost thirty minutes. Oh, okay. Right on. What do you think? Twenty-six minutes. That's, That's fine, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh. All right. Well. Well, uh, there's no holidays when this drops, so. Yeah. Happy. Well, I mean, uh, Happy, President's Day. I don't know. Happy <laughs> still 2020. <laughs> yeah. And I'm Barbara Walters. <laughs> All right, fuck off. All right.